hashtag Ricky Dillon status. <laughs> Not quite to the full effect though. Well, hello everyone. My name's Morgan, and yes, I am back with another video. I'm sorry that it took me so long to make another one. School started last week, and I was in band camp the week before, so everything's been like kind of hectic and all that kind of stuff. So, this video is just a short little video of 20 things I've thought since turning 20. Number one, obviously the biggest one. How am I gonna survive this whole year without trying to buy alcohol legally? Because I'm not 21 and it's gonna suck for this whole year. I just have one more year to go and then I'll be 21 and I can finally buy my own alcohol. So since I'm 20, does that mean like I'm officially an adult since I'm not a teenager anymore? That's definitely a no because I'm gonna try and stay as young as possible and try and act as young as possible for as long as I can because growing up sucks. And then I always had this thought, well, what am I gonna do with my life since I'm 20 and I should probably figure out like, should I go into a career or like do this or whatever. I should probably sort out what things that I wanna accomplish. And then I always think, speaking of the future, I'm just always like, well, when am I gonna get married? Like, I mean, I'm 20, like, time's getting by like pretty fast. And then since I think about marriage, I'm like, well, how many kids am I gonna have? Cause I definitely want to have some kids and I'm like, maybe I'll have like four or three or I don't know. And then I always think, well, I don't even want to get older. Like I don't want to grow up. That's why I'm going to try and act as young as possible for as long as possible because again, growing up sucks. And then I only actually have two years left of college, hopefully. So I'm definitely going to try and enjoy them to the fullest. And I really don't want to leave college cause this is like the best time ever. And I've had so much fun in college and I just, I don't want to leave because I don't want to go into the real world and start actually working and everything. And I always had that thought, well since I've already made like a lot of friends in college, I'm like, what are my high school friends doing right now? Like I creep on their Facebooks, but I don't really ever talk to them and I'm just like, I wonder what they're doing with their life. And then I always feel old because I'm always asking people like, hey, what grade are you in? Or like, what's your age? And they're always, they're almost always younger than I am and I'm like, oh, that's awkward. <laughs> And then since it's my last two years of college, I'm definitely going to try and make as many memories as possible. And also, I should really branch out of my comfort zone while I'm still young. And then I think maybe I should make a list of things that I want to accomplish by the time I'm 30. And then the biggest one, why am I still single? I can go on a whole rant about that, but that's, that, that's no place for the internet. And then sometimes I kind of wonder, like, do people think that I've changed since I've turned 20? Like. Do I act like I'm still a person in high school, or do I act differently? I hope I act differently, because I kind of want to be a little bit more sophisticated than in high school, but I don't know. You tell me. And then I get a nostalgia going on, and I'm like, wow, I really miss my childhood, and I miss growing up in the 90s, because obviously the 90s were the best time to be around. Like, come on. And then probably another big one, I'm like, you know, I should probably start paying attention to politics since I'm gonna have to be paying like taxes and everything soon. Then I think, <laughs> who cares about politics? And then over the summer, I actually got a chance to meet Dan and Phil. Yes, I know, I'm sorry if you're jealous, but they're some of the nicest guys I've ever met. And I could tell a story of that like later if you want me to. But whenever I was there, I asked everybody like what their age was and like, they were like, oh, well, I'm 16, or like, oh, well, I'm 13. I'm like, oh my god, I am fans of people that have the youngest fan base. And I'm like, this makes me feel really weird. <laughs> and that's not the only fan base that's young. There's also like, Keenan and JC have like a young fan base, and I went to their show this summer. And let me think. Five Seconds of Summer have a young fan base, and I saw them on Friday, and I'm like, Oh my god, everyone in these fan bases are so young and I feel so old. I'm definitely gonna be that mom that like goes to concerts where there's young acts and then there's gonna be me, the creepy old mom, trying it, that's being a fan of like whoever is performing. That's definitely gonna be me. Like I can't help it. And then I also think, speaking of like careers, I always think like, am I going into the right career field? And for sure I definitely think that I am. I am studying music business in school and I want to be like a tour manager and everything because I would love, love to live my life on the road with my, my band and just traveling and all this kind of stuff. So 
I think for the most part that I'm in the right field. And then lastly, this is like the best time of my life right now because I'm not in that, I'm in that age where like I'm not too young but I'm not like too old and so therefore like it's just trying to like have fun and like celebrate right now like live my life to the fullest right now while I can because I know once I'm older I'm not going to want to go out and all this kind of stuff so I'm trying to live my life to the fullest right now because hey you gotta enjoy it while you can. Well, that wraps up this week's video. I'm sorry it was kind of like sporadic and like wasn't consistent, but um, it was just something that I thought of off the top of my head and I just kind of wanted to have something to look back on whenever I'm older and I can look back, oh wow, those are the things that I thought whenever I was 20 and maybe I can, if I'm still doing this YouTube channel when I'm 30, I'd be like, oh, the things I've thought since I've turned 30. So it's just something nice to look back on. So. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you want to see me do next. Over Labor Day, I'm going to have my dog and I'm going to bring her back to my apartment that weekend. So I will definitely do a puppy tag for that video and for that week. So if you have any other video ideas of what you want me to do, please comment down below of what you want me to do. And I can also tell story times of like whenever I met Pentatonix, whenever I met Five Seconds of Summer back in 2013. And like basically all the celebrities that I've met, I it sounds really bad and it sounds really like, oh well, I'm bragging because I met this celebrity. I really haven't met that much and I'm so lucky to be, have met who I've met because I know not a lot of people in their life has even met one celebrity. So I can definitely do some story times on that and tell you how all those went. So if you want to see that, definitely give me a thumbs up. And yeah, that wraps up this week's video. So I'll see you later. Bye.